Hey everyone, welcome to the video. In my first part of learning Kafka with Python, essentially I showed you how we essentially uh, started up a Kafka and a Zookeeper using a Docker Compose, right? We wrote a very simple producer and a consumer. Now here is, uh, as I said, right, as we move slowly in the course, we'll learn more and more and more about Kafka, Python, and you know, all the syntax and other stuff. This video, I specifically wanna talk about one thing. So say you have a producer, right? And this is your queue, right? and your consumers are here listening here right producer produces a number one consumer consumed it okay producer produces number two consumer consumed it say something went wrong okay consumer went down so now the producer is again producing message three four now the consumer started at this point so now the consumer are gonna consume message from the from this point onward, right four five so in between that message three and four is lost right uh, i mean the, because the consumer went down I want to show you this actually and then how to solve this okay so in order to show you the concept i have a producer that is going to produce the messages and uh, in my lab number two that is going to be consumer v1 so this one is just going to listen to that okay so now i'm going to start just 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 bear with me to explain you all right hopefully you guys can see my screen right producers right now i'm going to start my consumer uh, v1 okay so producer is at ID number three, ID number four, okay? Now let's check, check this out, ID number five, six, seven, here we are at seven. Say something happened, right? Now my producer is still producing messages, but now if I restart my consumer, see what happens. I'm at what, 11, right? Or 12, right? See, started from 13. So you got the idea, right? So what essentially happened, uh, when the consumer went down, the messages were lost because uh, it is taking real time. So how do we essentially make sure that we start from where we uh, failed, right? So what we can do is there is a very simple settings that we could apply while creating a consumer. And this is called essentially enabling auto commit as true. Uh, essentially, I found this out uh, through, uh, I don't have that article handy, but I'll leave, leave it in the description. So uh, you wanna enable these three parameters here. So I'm saying, uh, auto commit uh, offset reset as earliest enable auto commit as true and you want to provide a group id so i'm gonna run consumer v2 demo so what i'm gonna do is now i'm gonna start my um, con uh, consumer v2 uh, demo right so now it's listening right now check this out so producer are gonna produce messages right so uh, check this out. So we are at zero, zero, right? It's being synced, right? Uh, real time, right? Now say something happened wrong here. At third item, we failed. But producer is still producing messages. So when I restart my consumer, I want to restart at that particular point, right? So check this out. When I play, remember, it's, it should restart, right? So again, it's listening. Just watch now. Okay, you see? So it started from four because... Uh, the last message that it processed was that, right? And now it's real time and syncing, right? So uh, that's how you can use it, right? So uh, this could be enabled very easily, as I said, with uh, these three parameters or settings in uh, while creating a Kafka consumer. If you need the source code, this would be there in the lab number two. And I hope you have enjoyed this small tutorial on Kafka. And as we keep progressing, we'll learn more and more about settings. Now, we'll dive further more about, for, for example, when you have multiple consumer and one producer, we'll try to listen from multiple uh, topics as well. But all that is going to come upcoming in the later videos. Hope you have enjoyed it. Please find the labs in the description. And if you have questions, put, put your question in the comments and I'll get back to you as soon as possible.